Hello, my name is Steve Mace from Soulwise, and uh, what I'm going to do now is present a quick video which uh, introduces uh, and tells you how to set up a brace of the new WLO15814N outdoor MIMO products uh, in order to create a link between two points. Uh, just a quick background, the WLO15814N, a bit of a mouthful, product is a new generation of outdoor MIMO products which are using 11N uh, capabilities uh, primarily uh, to improve uh, throughput and offer significant increased bandwidth compared with the standard 11G type products. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, first of all I've got one unit here connected to our network and uh, it's on the default address 192.168.2.254 enter comes up by default the username is root and the password is default click OK up it comes with the uh, screen first uh, first stage of screen now the way um, it says to use uh, for bridging for point to point or point to multi point with this product it says in the manual is to use a WDS mode so, um, as you all know, with WDS mode, the important thing is uh, each end needs to know the MAC address of the opposing end. So here are the MAC addresses of this actual unit, and uh, just to cheat beforehand, I actually connected the other unit, I've actually written down the MAC address of the other unit, which obviously I'm going to need as part of the setup. So these are the important information that you need to know for this uh, configuration. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, System, operating mode and what we're going to do is we're going to change it to WDS save and reboot <coughs> now we just wait for it to reboot and rather irritatingly this is one of those products which every time you change something insists on actually doing a reboot so uh, we'll have to wait uh, what another 30 odd seconds for this to finish so now we're down to three seconds that was quick wasn't it okay so now we've rebooted now, because we're going to have both of these uh, essentially on the same network, uh, we need to uh, change the IP address of at least one of them. We can't have them both on the address 2.254 on the network. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the address of this particular unit in front of me. So we're going to go to System, LAN, and we're just going to change the address of this particular unit to uh, 2.253. So just one away from the default setting. Save. And as you say, unfortunately, we've got to reboot again and reboot. Wait another 50 seconds. So now we're just ticking down the last few seconds. Now, of course, the IP address of this unit has changed. It's now on the 253. So we have to re log in. Root default. And as you say, we see at the top here that it's actually automatically restarted us on the 253 address, or restarted our browser on the 253 address. Now we need to set up the WDS, so we go to Wireless, uh, WDS Setup. Now as I say, with a WDS link, all you have to do is you tell, have to tell the left end about the right end, and the right end about the left end. So we're just going to Enable, and as you can see, you can have four devices in, a, in the WDS network. So this actually uh, unit here could talk to four other units. And we're going to put in the MAC address of the other unit, which is, say, I've cheated and written down previously. So 001A50004BravoCharlie6. And just as a note, I'm going to say that the other unit is the 254 unit. And of course, this unit is the 253 unit. Now we're going to save, and yet again, we have to reboot. <coughs> so now we're back up again, just counting down, and here we are. So now that's this unit set up, so this is going to be one end of our chain, and what I'm going to do now is do a quick pause, and uh, disconnect this unit, and uh, reconnect it to a remote notebook, and at the same time we're going to connect the second unit back to our network so back in two shakes of a lamb's tail okay so I've done the swap change over and we'll just type an address of the 254 uh, unit again press enter and now it's popped up with the uh, initial system overview screen of the second unit which uh, just to uh, as you can see here is actually on a, on a different MAC address this is actually on the uh, 
4BC6 MAC address. So uh, we have to do pretty much the same as the other one. First of all, what we have to do is we have to go to uh, System and change it to WDS. Unfortunately, you have to wait for another 40 odd seconds. Okay, just counting down. And we're done. So now what we have to do is we have to go to WDS Setup. So we go to Wireless, uh, WDS Setup. What we're going to do is we're going to enter in this list here the MAC address of the other unit. That's the 253 unit that we've previously set up. So 001A5000 for Bravo Bravo 2. So this will be our 253 unit. And we're going to save. And we're going to reboot like that. Okay, just counting down the last few seconds, and now we're up. So now we've got both ends configured and up and working. So uh, what I'm going to do now is, I say, at the other unit, on the end of the other unit, I've got a notebook, and I'm just going to set up a ping to that remote notebook, so we can see when the link is made. So we'll just set that up pinging in the background. Uh, it does take a little while for these things to sort themselves out, but what we can do is we can look at the WDS status, and we're still waiting for them to connect. Just keep refreshing that screen. Come on. That's it. So this end is now showing that it's found the other end. It's found the unit on the address 4BB2. I uh, don't know if the ping started yet, and now we can see the pings have started, so now we're actually pinging across the link. And what I should be able to do is, uh, because now obviously both units are on the same network, is I should be able to um, bring up the other unit, which is obviously on the 253 address. Okay, so now we have both units. We have the 253 with the 4BB2. And uh, status. And we have the 254 with the 4BC6 address and as you can see both ends are are connected we can look at the WDS status of the 254 unit and it's showing 100% link with a 40 meg wide Wi-Fi channel and we can look at the WDS status of the 253 unit yet again now a 100% link with a 40 meg wide Wi-Fi channel and the pings are busy chuntering away no problem at all there so uh, as you're saying, as you've seen, it's quite easy to set up a brace of these to actually talk to each other. Of course, the next stage, I suppose, would be you'd want to go along and actually start playing around with the, with the uh, with the security and that sort of thing. So you can enable the security and change it to whatever mode you want, etc., etc. Um, but that's it. That's essentially how you create a link between two of the new WLO units. Thank you very much.